I'm a USA long haul driver. My company is looking at enforcing AI driver facing dash cams. I am concerned about privacy. What are some topics I can bring up to make sure the data is safe? I think the best way, oh man, this is a tough one. AI driver facing dash cams. Your privacy is fucked. Um, because realistically, the reason they want them is to monitor attentiveness, uh, to monitor you know being on task during the job or you know whatever else. There's there's all these reasons that they're going to monitor them, and all the reasons, all the motivations that they have to monitor them would be um, not fulfilled if they were to do this in a way that correctly manages your privacy. Like if they, if for example, all the data was stored locally and only pulled in the event that they needed to review something by pulling it, you know, out of your truck physically. But then, you know, they're going to say, well, we can't do that because then, you know, if something bad happened and you wanted to maliciously destroy the evidence, then you would have access to it before we would and we can't have that. And I see their point, right? Because, you know, if there's an at-fault, you know, accident or something like that, um, they don't want to give you an opportunity to destroy that evidence, right? Um, that's their liability and that's, you know, that's their, that's their right to be concerned about that. But that means that your data is probably not going to be stored properly. That's tough. I don't have, I don't have a good answer. Um, I mean, you could go like, yeah, you could go, uh, we've got Trevor W going, convince all the other drivers to vandalize their cameras. They can't fire all of you. I mean that, yeah, it's some old school union tactics. I mean, um, you need to bring those back. Yeah. Trevor's not really wrong. I mean, I, I would personally not advocate for the destruction of, of anyone's property. Um, however, you know, I, uh, if you really don't want that camera in your cabin, I'd say that's about the only way that you are going to get anyone's attention. Like, I get it. I totally get it. Uh, I get why they want to do it. And in fact, some of why they want to do it might even be to enforce safety, uh, safety p protocols, right? Making sure that you're not driving too much in a way that's not only unsafe to you, but unsafe to other people on the road. Like, I, f I completely get it. But it ain't taking care of your privacy. Yeah. It's kind of weird, too, because, like, where's where's the line? Because a bunch of these people sleep in their trucks, right? Because, like, one... one Generally one, not in the driver's seat, but, yeah. One reaction that I first had was, like, tons of people are on camera when they're on shift. People, yep. A lot of people here are on camera when they're on shift. I'm on camera right now. Yeah, and not like, even not even that one. No, like I'm pretty sure there's probably a security is... camera somewhere. Like there's there's actually cameras all over the place. There's a huge amount of the workforce that's on camera 100 percent of the time, but it it feels like more invasive to be in the cab of one of those trucks, especially if it's one of the long haul ones that you're going to spend a lot of time not on shift in. Yeah, I mean we don't put a camera right on the top of someone's monitor. We just have cameras sort of generally in the space so that we can. Okay, if I'm remote and um, the the building's not armed, I can be like, is, any, is anybody in there? No, okay, I'll yeah, arm the building, right? That's why we have the cameras in the bathroom to make sure that we don't accidentally miss anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Yeah, that was going to take that long to register? Wow. <laughs> I was reading something. You doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> slash oh, S, slash S.